Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another hash rate bit tensor brief. Today, we're going to be covering Liam, formerly Celium, but now called Liam, L I U M, uh, subnet 51. So, Liam is a decentralized compute marketplace where anyone can rent or provide GPU power. Uh, and this is powered by BitTensor's subnet 51. So, it's a trustless, permissionless alternative to cloud giants like AWS or Azure. Uh, but it's, you know, it's optimized for AI, ML, and other GPU heavy workloads. So how does this work? Well, uh, first of all, anybody can spin up a machine in seconds. So if you want to go rent a machine, you can takes a few seconds. That's it. Boom. It's up and running. So if you're on the minor side, so th this is permissionless providing of GPU. So you have some GPU that you'd like to contribute to the Liam network. Uh, you share your idle GPU resources and you earn tau. So the machines that are supplied to the network are ranked by performance. So the best performing machines uh, will tend to get the most tau rewards. So the validators in the system will audit the GPUs that have been supplied and ensure the miners are delivering on the specs required. So if you are on the rentor side, so you can spin up a machine in seconds, first of all. Uh, second of all, you can pay uh, using a credit card, so you can swipe a credit card, or you can pay in crypto. So they do accept Tau, uh, but they also accept a wide range of cryptos, I discovered, because I actually joined up and went and looked at the interface to go see, you know, what could I actually use to buy if I was going to buy services? Um, and it turns out there's there's a whole swath of things. They use Coinbase for payment. So you can, uh, you know, use assets on Base, on Ethereum, on Polygon. Uh, I didn't check for Bitcoin, but I'm pretty sure that's in there as well. And of course, you can use Tau, right? They accept payments in Tau. So pretty cool. So let's talk about price. So the price, the GPU rentals are up to 90% cheaper than traditional cloud providers. So uh, you can rent iron from AWS or you can rent here from Liam and it'll cost one tenth of what it'll cost you on AWS or Azure. So very, very, very big cost savings. So remember everything on Liam, both uh, on the supply side and the demand side, it's all permissionless. So you, you don't have to ask permission. You can supply GPU uh, or get GPU. There's no KYC. There's nobody to ask. Anybody can participate on either end of the marketplace at any time. Now, Liam is averaging right now about $600 an hour in usage revenue, which is the most revenue being generated currently by any subnet. So if you look at BitTensor subnets just on, you know, in terms of like how are they doing as a business, the most revenue is being produced by this subnet. So that's approximately 14,400 a day or 432,000 a month, which it then uses to buy back its alpha token. On top of that, Liam is also burning an average of 60% of the daily miner emissions. So uh, it's not even rewarding the, the full 100% to the miners that it has the option to award. It's only rewarding 40%. So it's burn, it's taking what is earned, you know, earned by the miners and burning 60% of it, which theoretically creates more demand for the Liam subnet token. And just to remind you again, this is subnet 51. So if you look at the revenue numbers, um, it was some conservative 5% average monthly growth rate. Liam is projected to generate 11.5 million plus in annual revenue over the next 12 months. So the reigning champion, uh, the reigning champion subnet in terms of revenue. Um, so Liam has is, is definitely been uh, a hit within the BitTensor universe. Now, one of the new things that Liam has done to ensure that the GPUs that are supplied are, in fact, up to snuff and, in fact, uh, provide uptime, right? You don't want them going down. Um, so it's, it's both the quality of the GPU as well as the reliability of the GPU. So now if you supply GPU to the system as a miner, you have to supply collateral that is at risk. And if your GPU as a miner, if you experience, if it experiences unexpected downtime, then the collateral that you supplied is forfeited and withheld by the network. So this incentivizes higher reliability from miners and results in greater service or better service for the customers. So, you know, some of the typical use cases for GPU uh, text to video, right? So create a video based on a text prompt, image editing, uh, just, you know, straight up rental of GPU, 
model training, AI model training, AI transcription. So you know, it hears something and it writes down in text what it what it hears. Uh, music generation, AI content moderation. So you have an AI which is moderating a content area like a Discord or something like that. Uh, you know, and then the classic G- Chat GPT or Mid Journey style user interfaces uh, and custom models or AI workflows. So the end result of all this, well, you have. Uh, Liam is currently a top five subnet on BitTensor, and uh, the serving live workloads happens right now uh, via, go to the website, Liam, L-I-U-M dot I-O, and because of its its cheap price and high reliability, it's become very popular among uh, ML developers, AI researchers, and crypto native builders because they can pay in crypto. Uh, and the community is calling it the AWS of BitTensor, and it is growing like a weed, so the team is led uh, is founded by Datura and led by a person who goes by the name of Fish. Uh, Fish is someone we all know in the BitTensor space. He's highly respected. Assume it's a he. I'm not positive, but I think it's a he. Uh, it's a pseudonym, so we don't know. Uh, but it's uh, the name is Fish, and um, you know, formerly a large scale BitTensor miner, and uh, this person seems to know what they're doing and has quickly built one of the top uh, BitTensor subnets. So, thumbs up on Liam, Fish, and Datura. Uh, This all looks very good to my eyes. That's it. This has been a BitTensor Brief. My name is Mark Jeffrey. Hope you enjoyed it.